So in this problem, we're told to let g of x equal the integral from 0 to x of f of t dt, where f is the function whose graph is shown. So we're given this graph here. So let's start with a. So it says evaluate g of 0, g of 5, g of 10, g of 15, and g of 30. So basically, we want to find each of these, uh, what g at each of these x values is. So how do we do that? Well, first, let's understand how this works. So basically, um, since x is in our upper bound, whatever x value we plug in, we're going to be trying to find the integral from 0 to that x value. And the integral is basically just the area under the curve. So whatever x value we're given, we're finding the area under the curve from 0 to our x value. So let's start with g of 0. So we know that area is equal to base times height. And so if, if we start at 0, right, and then we go to 0, our base isn't going to change. So our base will just be 0. So no matter what our height is, if our base is 0, um, our area is going to be 0. So for g of 0, it's just going to be 0 because our base is 0. So let's do g of 5 next. So g of 5, we got to find the area under the curve from 0 to g or to 5. So if I shade in the area under the curve from 0 to 5, we're going to have to find this area. And so we see that it's a rectangle. We know that area equals base times height. So our base is going to be 5 long. And then our height is going to be 10. So area is going to be equal to 5 times 10. And so 5 times 10 is going to be 50. So the answer to the second one is going to be 50. So let's do the next one. What is g of 10? Well, g of 10 is going to be from 0 to 10, so it's going to be this whole area. And so we already know what the area of this part is, of this part right here. But we just need to find the area of this part. So if this area is going to be 50, let's add, we can split this into two different shapes. So if I find the area of this shape and then the area of this triangle, then we can just add them together. So the area of this, it's the same shape as this. And we know that this is 50 and this is also going to be 50 because they're the same. So 50 plus 50. And then we got to find the area of this triangle right here. So if this is 5 long, so area of a triangle is equal to 1 half base times height. So if the base is 5, the height is 10, area equals 1 half 5 times 10, which is just 50. And then 1 half of 50 is going to be 25. So if we add all these together, 50 plus 50 plus 25 is going to equal 125. So the answer to the third one is going to be 125. Let's do g of 15 now. So if this is 10, this is going to be 15. So we want to find the area of the curve under the curve from this whole thing. And we already know the area of this entire part, right? Because that's what we just calculated in the last one. It's 125. So we just need to find the area of this triangle, or under, yeah, of this triangle here, and then add it to 125. So let's do that. So it's going to be a triangle, so 1 half base times height. The base is going to be 5 long. The height is going to be 20. So 1 half, 5 times 20, 5 times 20 is going to be 100, times 1 half, that's going to be equal to 50. So it's going to be 125 plus 50, which is going to be 175. So now we got the answer to the fourth one, we just have one more. Uh, so let's do that one. So this is g of 30. So we need to find, if this is 30 right here, we got to find the area of this entire part, then add it to the area of this part. But keep in mind that this is negative because it's under the x-axis. Basically, we're just going to be taking this area right here and then subtracting it from this area. And so we already know the entire area of this part right here. It's going to be 175 because that's what we just calculated. So if this is going to be 175. We're going to subtract the area of this part up until 30. So let's do this, split this into two shapes. We'll do this shape, this rectangle here, and then a triangle. So going to be base times height. Uh, this is going to be, base is going to be 5, it's going to be 10, so 5 times 10 is going to be equal to 50. We have 175 minus 50, right, because that's this part. Then we got to subtract this part though. So if this is going to be 10, so it's going to be 1 half base times height. Base is going to be 10, height's going to be 10. So 1 half times 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is 100, then 1 half is going to be 50. So let's subtract 50 from this whole thing. So it's going to be 175 minus 50 minus 50. Uh, which is going to be 75. And so now we got that. 
uh, what we want to do is B. So B says, on what interval is G increasing? So when is G going to be increasing? Well, if this is our function here, it's going to be increasing when X is greater than 0. So basically when we're above the X axis. So when are we above the X axis? Uh, X axis? So we're above it, it seems, all the way throughout until we hit 15. So at 15, we go below it and we don't go back up. So it's going to be from 0, right? Because we started 0, and then we don't go below it till 15. So it goes all the way to 15. Then where does G have a minimum value, or maximum value? So it has a maximum value. Uh, think about it just like when we, what x value is our function the greatest. And if we see here, we basically did all the x values. And it's going to be 175, right? And you can see that here too. It's going to be the greatest. Um, it's at 175 because that's when uh, our x value, when we plug in an x value, we get the greatest result. So it's going to be 15. So x is going to be equal to 15. And then if we were to sketch a rough graph of this, um, I can try and draw it for you. It would just look something like this. Uh, this would be about like 25. This is 0. So it would be something like this. Go up like this. Then turn. It's kind of bad, but something like that. And so, yeah, these are going to be the answers to this problem.